my name is Aiden, um, and I am here today with Fabville, which is the new Fab Lab that's located in Somerville's high school. Uh, it's currently operated and managed by the Fab Foundation, where I work. Um, but today we're here to promote some of the amazing tools that you can find in a Fab Lab, especially the one at Fabville. Um, so we've got here 3D printing, we've got vinyl cutting, and on the table in front of us we have some uh, laser cut masks, which are designed uh, in carnival themed. So if you're interested, come on by here and create some carnival themed masks with us at Fabville. Thanks. Our business is all pet related. When I say pet related, I'm talking about we offer pet grooming, dog and cat grooming only at our store location. Uh, pet products, all natural and organic. Most of our food is from local vendors. You'll not find it at Petco or Petsmart. I'm also, if you notice around here, a lot of this is local mom and pop stores that I help. We've been in business for 25 years in Ball Square. Um, our cat sitting we're starting to bring back, and our cat sitting consists of us coming to your house and taking care of your pet while you're on vacation. We also offer delivery service free in the Somerville area, and we also ship to the United States anything you see here except for Hawaii, Alaska, and Puerto Rico. And the U.S. territories. Thank you. Um, we're here, we love animals, uh, we want to let everybody know that we're there. Some people don't even know that we exist in Ball Square, so that's why we're doing this open market and a few other open markets during the summer. Um, it's been really tough on us since COVID, but we're finding we're doing the open markets, people will come back and support not just us, but all local vendors. Bart's is uh, based out of Greenfield, Mass, you know, around, you know, Northampton, Amherst area. Uh, it's been, we've been making ice cream since 1976. Um, the ice cream's, you know, all natural, non-GMO, it's organic, um, and it's just some really great ice cream. It's a bit of a small operation, but we love what we do, and, you know, we think we do it pretty well, and we love being here. My name's Adam Zicke. Uh, I'm one of the co-owners of Wild Fox Pierogi. We're based out of Somerville at Foundation Kitchen on Washington Street. Uh, Wild Fox Pierogi is my wife and my brother and myself. Uh, it is the... The fusion of our heritages, uh, our Polish and Portuguese past. Um, Ziki in Polish is wild, and Raposo in Portuguese is fox. So that's how Wild Fox was born, um, when my wife sort of joined our family. And uh, yeah, so we're bringing sort of an American contemporary approach to more traditional flavors and uh, food items like pierogi, um, chorizo, linguisa. Uh, we're trying to make them more approachable. Uh, we do pop-ups right now at breweries. Um, so you can find us all around the state doing pop-ups um, where we do bring pierogi, we bring uh, sausages. And we've been recently popping up in anticipation of uh, opening up uh, in the food hall at the Graphic Lofts uh, in Charlestown as part of the Foundation Kitchen food hall going in there towards the end of the year. So that should be uh, our sort of first brick and mortar location where you can find us 24 7 but for now you can order online uh, we're at farmers markets doing frozen pierogi and then at breweries popping up selling hot pierogi to go with cold beer hi i'm molly walter from molly rose creative i'm an independent artist illustrator and designer and i'm out here sweating to show you guys my cards based on dark humor and mental health, some stickers and uh, some prints, some paintings, of course, celebrating Pride Month. So happy Pride and check me out at www.mollywalter.com. Thanks. Hi, I'm Christina from All She Wrote Books. We're a intersectional queer feminist bookstore located at 451 Artisan Way, which is in Assembly Row. Uh, we actually got our start at East Somerville Main Streets, um, actually at their movie nights. So what we're doing here today is we're part of this market that's here every Sunday from 11 to 1, um, and it's all different types of folks. We have food, artisans, everything. Um, and what we try to do every week is bring you uh, not only our staff favorites, but also new releases from each week from amazing queer, female, and non-binary authors across all genres. Hi guys, my name's Lexi. I'm an artist. I started about two years ago and I'm self-taught. Um, I'm selling here prints of my artwork as well as wood slices. Um, they're all hand-painted 
and they all have a special meaning to me, so I'm hoping that they'll brighten up your home or gifts, whatever you guys want them to be. Um, you guys can find me at Instagram on Lexi Lynn Art. Hope you guys enjoy. My name is Jessica Ritter. I'm one of the co-owners of Greenway Bath Boutique. Um, we make assorted bath products from sugar scrubs to bath bombs and soaps and everything in between. Um, it was a collaborative effort between me and my neighbor. She made soaps, I made bath bombs, and we decided to make it into a business. We have a Facebook page um, and an Instagram at Greenway Bath Boutique. Um, we also have our own website, greenwaybathboutique.com. Um, we have uh, ordering for both local pickup, we also do local delivery, and we ship all across the country. Um, Every once in a while we have promotions, so it's good to like us on Facebook or Instagram because we're always posting on there. Hi, I'm Pooja Vishal. I'm the founder of Urban Spice World and uh, we curate ready-to-cook meal kits. They're all pre-measured and pre-portioned for your convenience. So it's pretty much a no-brainer cooking. And since it's Indian food, so you don't doubt on flavors there. And uh, yeah, you have everything in it. So you don't, you just, they all are numbered. So you just go one, two, three. So it's like a no-brainer. Yes, so here we have um, a combo kit that carries mixed lentils. There's a bag of rice and there's lots of love in it. So come and get it. We have, we have uh, new meal kits every week. So yeah, come here. We are right here in East Somerville. Thank you. Hi, I'm Peg from Peg's Preserves. I started canning when I was about six years old. Went on to entering all the competitions in the state. Loved canning, took it to my heart. And now I go to local farmer's markets where I sell my own flavor jellies, about 80 flavors I'm up to right now. I have pickles, relish, most of the fruit right, I grow right on my own little farm out in Lancaster. We have um, only about an acre and a half, so it's a small little farm, hobby shop, and we have our own bees, so you'll find our local honey. I usually, I always have some spices too, all different varieties. So come on down to East Somerville at Dino's Pasta, check us out. We're here every Sunday. My name is Amanda Escamilla, and I'm the owner and founder of Tex-Mex Eats. Um, I am out of the Cambridge and Somerville area, and I'm known for my authentic handmade tamales, fresh salsas. Uh, we've added a line of chili beans and authentic um, uh, cheese enchiladas. And so I'm here today to not only promote my product, but uh, to say thank you to the East Somerville uh, Main Street uh, market because uh, and Dino's for that matter for having us here and hosting us here uh, pre-pandemic uh, who knew what this would land and here we are uh, what is it 16 months later uh, doing this and the, it's it's building it's getting bigger and I really love being part of this community and serving this community and I'm very grateful to the folks here that are supporting the small businesses as mine and others around me to bring you the best um, food that we can to your family and to your table. So thank you all and I look forward to seeing you all at this market and others in the uh, city. 